Hi guys, my name is Gina James Scott and welcome to a Sims Free Play Architect Homes Tour. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but we have just got 12 new architect homes today, as I'm recording this, which is the 16th of November, 2018. So I figured we should check them out together. As usual with these architect homes, I'm gonna show you them on a premium size lot. Some of them you will be able to build on a standard size lot and don't take any notice of the prices for me because the prices for you will probably be different. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Here we go. This is a standard size lot that we can build this on and oh, it looks pretty. It's two stories. This is nice. It's making use of the exterior stairs there. I like these sunflowers that they've used outside. I feel like it looks quite familiar maybe. I don't know whether I've seen this before. Let's take a little look. As usual with these, we're looking for rare items or things that, you know, cost LP or SP that makes it worth building. I know these hedges are only available when you build, is it the French house? One of the houses. So maybe you want to get this house so you can have some of these hedges. You can buy them, I think, in the online store for real money. This is a nice bathroom. The villa sinks there, maybe. We have so many different uh, furniture items and things now. I forget where everything has come from. Oh, what we do have, this is actually a really nice house. I like how it's decorated. We have a Scandinavian TV there. That is quite a few SP to buy that. And the industrial kitchen, I like that. And then let's have a look. Oh, we've got the little ceiling fan from the villa. The huge king size beds, if you haven't got those. This might be worth building for some people. Let's go up to the second floor. Oh, I like these fireplaces. Possibly, you might want to build it for the fireplace. And what else? Those bricks are S um, LP, sorry. Got another kitchen up here. Yeah, that might be worth building, to be honest, for some people, possibly. Here is house number two, and this is, again is a standard size, and it's two floors. This looks familiar. Definitely seen this before, to be honest. Hmm. It's a nice build. Let's check it out. Let's see if there's anything inside that we may want. Ooh. Okay, there's some nice furniture items in here that are a little bit rare or that have come from events that you may not have taken part in. Maybe you weren't playing the game when the event came out. Don't worry, these events are always, always repeated, so you will be able to get them done at some point. Oh look, we've got a little glitch here. I like this glitch, <laughs> the where we can make corner sofas. How cool is that? You want a little glitched sofa? Get this house. I'm surprised that they use glitched uh, houses, to be honest, but they do. Let's go ahead and take a little look upstairs. Uh, oh, they've got a little, little laundry room there. If you didn't take part in the laundry event. Oh, we've got a, like a Mac computer there. That is SPLP, one of the two. I can never remember. Uh, we've got a record player there. It's quite a nice build on the huge king size bed and some of these nice lamps and bedside tables that you may not have. I like this build. Here is the third house and we've got a basement in this and two floors. It's a standard size. Let's take a look. It's got lots of the chalet windows. Take a look at the first floor. Lots of dog bowls outside. I <laughs> wonder there's lots of pets here. And we've got some mezzanine floors. Let's take a look inside. This is definitely, is it one of the houses that we can get potentially and that's been revamped? I'm not entirely sure, but we've got a huge chalet sofa there that honestly I've never put in a house I just think it's far too big to be quite honest you do need a huge room like this kitchen area you may not have this kitchen it's quite new added to the game especially those ovens which are really nice and then let's go ahead oh these bookcases I love these bookcases these were part of a modern living pack that was available in the online store so possibly you might want those. They're only one star bookshelves, I think, but I really like the look of them. Best bookcases in the game, in my opinion. Let's head down to the basement. and Oh, it's just a tiny little basement there with some laundry stuff. So if you didn't take part in the laundry live event, 
we can get some laundry stuff there let's head upstairs we've got a huge mezzanine area there yeah this is definitely a pre-built and we have got oh, i love that fireplace that fireplace there oh, we've got two of them they are lots of sp for that fireplace we've got another huge bed and some of the lights and bedside tables yeah this could be could be worth doing there's quite a lot of nice items in this build here's the fourth house oh this looks a little bit different this is how many floors oh look at this design i like this it's a standard size i think let's take a little look i like I really like modern and a cool look isn't it it's cool let's take a look so we've got first floor here i have no idea how we get in is this the entrance yeah that's the entrance there oh no this is the main hang on let me put the yeah, that's the entrance. That's the window. This is the entrance. I think. I'm confused. Hang on. That's all outside. Yeah, okay. It's because it's so that they can get the design here of like the house. It's all it's like an outside bit running running through the middle. Oh, and that's how you get to the uh, diving board. That's pretty cool. <laughs> to get to the diving board, you have to go weave through the like the inside bit of the house. I like that. Right, let's go back down and let's just take a little look. This is a, this is a really cool house. I like that plant. That's rare. We've got one of those fireplaces that's rare. We've got oh, we've got a dual like gaming computer there, gaming PC. Fondue set. Love myself a little fondue set. We've got the, another fireplace there. This has got quite a few items in it, to be honest. Those fountains are SP. This is one of the nicest builds I've seen for quite some time, to be honest. It's really good. Let's go up to the next floor. I've no idea how you get up there. But, oh, there's an escalator? Is that, yeah, there's an escalator up. Hang on. You can't, I don't think that works. You can't actually get up that, that. You go, you're blocked, right? You can't actually get up the stairs that way. Anyway, <laughs> it's, maybe it doesn't work as an actual house. Oh, it's got a chalet. No, that's not a chalet. What is it? Whatever that fireplace is. It's got one of those fireplaces. That's amazing. Oh, and the modern sofa there. That sofa came in the same pack as the bookshelves came in that we were just talking about. There's a lot of items. There's a nice record player there. Some of the chic boutique stuff. The gold dividers. And then, oh, and the little kids' room over here. I really love this house, although if it doesn't work as a house, if you can't actually get up the stairs, it's probably no good, but really love the design on that. Excellent build, whoever did that. Really good imagination, really unique. Fourth house, and this is standard again. We've got three floors. Good build. Lots of the, I think, I feel like those windows are the most popular windows that people use these days. We've got a basement as well. We'll check that out in a minute. Ooh, we've got one of those huge sofas. One of the fireplaces there. Some purple furniture that is SP and some of those bookshelves as well. Those bookshelves, I think, are definitely popular with people. And let's go, we'll go basement first. Oh, reasonable sized basement. Lots of laundry stuff. The unicorn painting was a limited time prize from one of the early quests in the game. Let's go up to the second floor. I love these paintings. Those paintings were in a pack as well, I think. There's this one here and that one and that one. Really love this. I feel like that's a bit random, that, uh, that globe. But okay, we've got a spa area. Not a spa, a sauna area there. Gym area. This is a nice house. I'd like to live in this house. And then let's go up to the third floor with the bedroom. Again, they're using these king size beds. It must be very popular with everyone. Two of those kind of Mac computers looking out. Love this. That nice sofa. Big cinema screen. One of these fireplaces. I'm very impressed with these architect homes so far. House number six, another standard size. Let's look at the basement first, why not? This is a nice little basement. It's got a bar area. You may not have that bar or that painting. In fact, you may not have any of this stuff, to be quite honest. It's all quite rare. I don't think you can get down there, can you? 
I'm not entirely sure. I don't think you can. Let's see how many floors we've got. Ooh, lots of floors. Four floors. Let's take... Wow. That's an amazing build. Check that out. I wonder if it's flats or if it's a house. Let's take a look. I think it's probably a house. Let's go down back to the first floor. Okay, this has got some awesome furniture. Honestly, every one of these houses has got some awesome furniture and some great designs. I really like them. Some of the old style fish... What are they called? Fishing to fishing tanks? Fish tanks. I was going to call them fishing ponds. They're not ponds. <laughs> there's a lot of furniture in here that you may not have. Oh, there's a little headwig and there's a... Oh, wow. I like this house. That's one of the modern... Is it the modern TV? Yeah, I think that's the modern TV from that same pack that we've been talking about. Let's go up to the next floor. There is so much cool furniture. Obviously, depending upon how much these house, houses are for you to build, maybe worth getting a couple done because there's lots of lots of the newer furniture that we have within the game that's come out with recent events and recent quests. Let's go up to the next floor. Another sauna in there. Wow, there's just so much. This is amazing. Okay, fourth floor. I really like this build as well. I like that little area. Look at that little area. Isn't that cute? Oh, there's two gaming PCs there. I call them gaming PCs. Dual screens. I don't actually know what they're called in the game, but I always just call them the gaming PCs. That house is excellent. I really like that. We're halfway through. This is house seven. And again, standard. We haven't had any premium ones yet. We've got oh four floors. This is what it looks like. Lots of balcony area there. Let's take a look. Did we have a basement? Yeah, we did. Lots of stuff in the basement. Ooh, okay, let's go up first floor. And, oh, there's a little cinema screen outside there. If you haven't got that outdoor cinema. And, oh, nice fireplace. Let's go upstairs. And another gaming PC. Another fireplace, lots of stuff. Maybe not as much as in some of the other houses, but still quite a lot of stuff in all honesty. Kids room over here. Look, <laughs> the kids got to sit in that high chair, like face the wall. <laughs> what else have we got? We've got, is that a kitchen area? Yeah, there's a kitchen area up here. Got these like wedding chandeliers. If you haven't got those, they're quite nice. And then fourth floor, was that the last floor? Yeah, fourth floor. Lots of these wedding chandeliers actually. Yeah, there seems to be... Oh, that's a nice little area. It's kind of like a little yoga, meditation-y type area in the sauna. I don't know if I'd like to meditate in the sauna, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. That's that's quite good. It's probably not as good as the others in terms of what you can get inside it, but pretty good. House number eight, standard again. And lots of floors. Was that three floors? Yeah, let's just take a little look. I like how that looks. We've got two lions at the front there which is pretty cool. And then let's go in. Wow, it's just one huge big room with lots of these. Hang on. Oh, we can't put the walls up, can we, in when we're in kind of preview mode. But let's just zoom out so you can see. Yeah, it's got lots of those bookshelves. Really like them. Nice little, oh, look, little, little owl there. That's cool. I like this room, even though it's kind of just one big room. I like how it's been done. Let's just go down to the basement, and wow. Loads of stuff down here. I like the bathroom. Got some of those ro In fact, there's loads of rose gold lights down here. Huge kitchen area. Loads of these ovens. This may be worth building, to be honest, this house. Hmm, yeah, it's quite good. Let's go up to the second floor, and there's a huge mezzanine area there, and some little rooms around the side. A gaming PC again, Scandinavian stereo there. This is excellent. Let's take a look. Third floor, and this is where the bedrooms are going to be. All those nice little they are in a pack in the online store, I believe. Those dresses or wardrobes there. This is a good build. I may have to build this. 
I don't know, it's pretty good. It's tight between that. There's quite a few that I would like to build this time. It's the ninth house, standard size again. Five floors and the basement this has got. Ooh, so let's take a look. I recognise this house. They've been reusing lots of the um, architect homes. I feel like they do these days. We've got a nice area here with the kind of the Mac computer and the record player there. Oh, it's a reception desk area there. So it's not a house, this. Maybe it's like a spa or something. That's Yeah, maybe I think it is actually. Let's go up. There's lifts in this. Oh, there's... There's bedrooms, maybe it's a little hotel. Could be, yeah, I think it's a hotel, isn't it? There's lots of different beds. I like this. Okay, yeah, that's first floor, or second floor, I should say. Third floor is, oh, this is where there's like a computer room, a little gym area. Hmm. It's not, I don't, I'm not sure whether there's lots of rare furniture in this one particularly. Oh, this is like the, the party room. I like that. I like how they've, they've done that. It's kind of pretty empty just with some things. Oh, there's a ghost. <laughs> the, the, this little party table set up there. That's pretty cool. There's a Scandinavian stereo there. And, oh, we've got the bar area. You may not have the bar. Then let's go up. I don't like that flashing with the haunted items. Oh, there's a big Buddha there. We've definitely seen this house before because I remember saying that there's that big Buddha. That's definitely a repeat architect home. House number 10 is a premium lot and we have four floors. Let's take a little look at it. It's got a nice pool in the back garden there. Again, I think this one looks familiar. Got, oh, Serenity Reigns there. Huge French chateau. Is it French chateau? I think so. The French chateau stairs there and one of those fireplaces, which is SP. Mac computer, another Serenity Reigns. Nice kitchen area with those ovens. If you haven't got those, I think they're missing something. In that spot, just right there, <laughs> maybe their washing machine, the dishwasher is going to go there. Let's see, just outside, there's nothing crazy rare or anything outside. The volleyball net is a prize from one of the very, very early events. Let's just take a quick look downstairs in the basement, laundry area. Most people seem to put their laundry area downstairs in the basement and a little gym area as well where. Let's go up to the second floor. Use some mezzanines here nicely. Some more of the modern furniture, the modern sofa there, and the Scandinavian stereo. There's definitely seems to be a theme running along, doesn't it? And what people have been using the modern TV. I wish that I had got that modern pack. I don't know what I I kept me in to buy it when I was in the store, and I just kept forgetting and thinking, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll do it later, and then it ran out of time and disappeared out of my store. Hopefully it will come back, and if it does come back, I will be spending <laughs> some real money on it. I don't spend a lot of money on the game, but occasionally I do like to buy a little pack for myself if it's something that I really quite fancy. So on floor three, we've got a record player there. Let's go up to floor four, and ooh, it's a huge bedroom, one of those nice fireplaces and one of those vanity tables. I love those vanity tables, they're so adorable. And what else have we got? A little kids room. Here is some nursery stuff there and that is that house. House number 11. Ooh, look at this. We've got a kind of grand entrance to it. We've got five floors. Wow, it's a really, really big big house look at that it's a mansion by the beach it's got a nice entrance with the patio there has it got a basement yeah it's got a basement as well so let's go in and take a little look i've got a feeling that there might not be wonderful furniture i don't know why but let's just see the basement it's got a big kind of cinema screen tv there 
go up to the second floor. Now it's not got, it's kind of a nice designed house, but it's not got a ton of furniture. It's got a kind of Mac computer. What else? Wow, look at that huge dining area. Kitchen area there. And upstairs we've got one of those fireplaces, little kids room. No, I don't think this house, I mean, maybe, maybe you're spotting something that you quite fancy that you haven't got, a piece of items of furniture, but for me, it's not got a load in. It does have two of those lions. I mean, everyone is different, aren't they, in terms of what they have or haven't unlocked within the game, and so, and what their preference is as well. You may not like the kind of furniture items that I like, and so when we're looking at these houses, obviously for you, it may be complete, you may have completely different thoughts about each house than I do. I like these fireplaces here, so if I see a fireplace like that, I quite like to build the house because I don't think you can get that fireplace within the game, to be honest. I don't think it's viable. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. Yeah, that's a, a decent enough house. It's not really got anything in there for me to make me want to build it. And here is the last house. It's a standard one with five floors. Look at this, it's just like a big box. <laughs> Let's go down. It's got a tent on the roof. Have I seen this house before as well? I feel like I have. Let's go down and we'll got a little pool in the middle there. Let's have a little look. And so far, nothing. Hmm. Maybe let's have a little look in the basement. Wow, lots of the stuff from the. I can't remember what that event was. The kind of the hairdressing event. It wasn't called the hairdressing event, but <laughs> whatever. Um, oh, it's a funny old basement, that. Let's go up to the second floor. I've got a feeling again there's going to be nothing particularly LP or SP or rare in this house. Oh. That's a funny little room there, right? I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong again, but I'm pretty sure that we can't get these heart-shaped hot tubs in the game anymore. I'm sure I tried to place one a while ago and I couldn't find it anywhere. I have a few in my inventory, I think, but I couldn't actually just purchase it. I'm sure that's a thing. Let me know again if I'm wrong. Someone correct me in the comments. Let's go up to the fourth floor. A oh, nice little kid's room. Kids' room stuff tends to be, I don't think any of that is actually, it could be, but the kids' stuff does tend to be LP to buy lots of the kids' toys, which I have no idea why, it just is. <laughs> Let's go up fifth floor, and it's a weird room to sit in. Imagine just going to sit in that room and everyone's sitting in a corner <laughs> with a tent up on the roof. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, there's nothing fantastic, I don't think, in that house, but obviously if you like it, go ahead and build it. So there is a look at all 12 of the architect homes available in the Sims Free Play at the moment. These will change, is it maybe something like every three weeks I feel like architect homes change. Let me know if you are going to build any. I think possibly I might build one or two, although I'm not that bothered about any of them in all honesty. Let me know down below if you are. And also let me know if you designed any of the houses. I don't think anyone who's designed the houses has ever commented. I could be wrong on that. But let me know because that would be awesome if you were the designer of any of those houses. But thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.